welcome back to no place and alien isolation today um i can't remember where i was last basically so i'm, I'm just trying to get my bearings back quickly because i haven't actually played this in a while Because all of this flu shit going on. Oh. Okay, cool. So I was there. And here's the downside parts about playing the game. So what breaks in between and not actually um, going flat out on playing the game. Uh, you, I, I tend to miss miss stuff. I tend to uh, re visit parts. No, I'm not supposed to go. Ugh, each time the thing opens up, it scares the shit out of me. Like, I just get like this cold fright kind of a vibe going through me. I give that alien a solid 10 out of 10. <laughs> Holy fuck. My heart's racing. And I'm pointing my gun for some. <sighs> Just go. Hold. So I have the revolver and I'm whooping it out like no one's business but the thing is how safe am I with this thing? Can you shoot aliens? Can you shoot the xenomorph? I'm worried. Am I actually safe with this? Um, heck. Wait, does that mean it's on a different... Um, different plane or something? Different room or something? Because I can't go this way. My map reading skill is failing me horribly now. Because it says I must, must go to the... Hack the elevator to seek some communications like... What the fuck?
No, I don't want to go that way. Shit. The bad thing about this revolver, I haven't shot it yet. And I haven't shot the revolver yet, so I have no idea, like, what to expect recall-wise. Because if it's like something like um, your Resident Evil games, we where the recoil is something that you really can't. Um, not the recoil, like, the, you shoot the thing in the head and it doesn't die, like, if that's something that's gonna be a thing, yeah, I'm gonna be super annoyed with it. That took a bit too long. At least I know what happens when I die. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> 